So now that we've mounted the samples onto the sample holder, we're going to add them into the uh, flexi lock, which is uh, where it needs to go uh, before it goes into the main chamber. So this is the flexi lock here. The flexi lock should be under vacuum and you need to vent the chamber to put your sample bar in there. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, just make sure that you aren't venting the chamber with someone else's sample that they're wanting to analyze. If that's the case, just make sure that their sample bar goes into the sample analysis chamber first. We're ready to vent. We go to the mimic diagram. We just check that the flexi lock gate valve is closed. This is just to make sure that we're not going to vent the whole sample analysis chamber. So now what I'm going to do is loosen the screw on the flexi lock door. That's just to prevent a pressure buildup. So we can remove this all the way, but just in case the door swings open, which it sometimes do if the pressure's high, we'll just leave it, leave it like that. I then press vent and then we have to wait about 10 minutes. In that process, the turbo pumps will slow down. Uh, eventually they'll turn off. The backing valve will close and then nitrogen will go into the chamber, into the flexi lock chamber that is, and then we can add our sample. So to open the flexi lock door, twist this part here, and then gently pull here. So there's a, a small screw here, so we just have to twist that and pull it out. Um, and you can see that there's uh, three separate holders, uh, number one, number two, and number three and each of the holders is labelled. They've also got a, a, a small notch on them here. With the sample holder, there's a small hole underneath. It's very important that that hole goes into the notch to hold it into place. Now we're going to very carefully place this into position number one. And I'm just going to wiggle it just to make sure that it's in place. So we've now got this special tool which we can use to make sure that the sample bar is in the correct position. So we place this into a, a pre-made hole on the uh, flexi lock and it just makes sure that the sample bars are aligned up against that. So I've put this tool into position and you can see that the sample holder is now touching the end of that. Therefore, we know that it is in the correct position. And so we now have to remove this tool and the sample holder is ready to go into the flexi lock. Twisting the nuts and now it's held into place and then shut the door and bring this screw around, finger tight it we can now evacuate the chamber. So to pump it down, we just press pump. It will ask us to confirm the magazine contents. So slot number one has the plain drill height holder. That's what we've just put in. Number two is empty and number three is empty. So it's important that we get that correct, otherwise there might be some collisions later on with the sample bars. I just press OK and then it starts the pump down procedure and then we just have to leave it for a few hours or overnight and it will be down to the required pressure.